What is up everyone and welcome back to another video today and in this video we're going to be taking a look at my collection. Today we'll be taking a look at my fleet of Delta Airlines aircraft. So my Delta Airlines collection as you can tell is pretty massive. I've got over 35 and to be exact 37 Delta aircraft in my collection. This does include Delta Connection aircraft from the likes of Comair, ASA, SkyWest, Republic, um, just trying to see if I'm not missing anything. I don't think I am, but there's all the notable Delta Connection carriers in here and ASA being one of the older ones that I have. Still got a couple that I have yet to get, but pretty happy with where the Delta Collection, Delta Connection collection, that's a tongue twister there, is at right now. And you can also see some wine bodies there in the back as well, and also plenty of retro ones. And I just noticed my Team USA is missing that wheel again. That wheel keeps falling off, and I think this time I have permanently lost it. That is not good. But anywho, with that little blunder out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at my current livery Delta aircraft, which I have on the bottom. Now note that this does include retired aircraft. I have them sorted by livery here. And then we have all my retro livery Delta aircraft, and all my Delta wide bodies are in the back with a mixed bag of different liveries. I'm going to do this all in one take, do this in the best way that I can here. So the first aircraft that we have here in the smallest Delta aircraft in my collection, we've got the CRJ-200 wearing the current Delta livery. Now this is one of my more recent Delta Connection pickups. I got this in 2022. I have a much older one here in the back, or right next to it. We've got the Embraer 170 with the short winglets. This I got all the way back in 2016, and this is one of the first broken aircraft that I unboxed on the channel. And then we have the infamous Ember 175 with the enhanced winglets right next to that. It took Gemini quite a while to release it, but when they did, they executed it very well. And then next to that, we've got my first release, Delta Connection CRJ700, which I have done a review on on this channel on my Retro Review series. Go check out that video. It is an older installment. And then next to that, we've got the also infamous Delta CRJ900. This is the first release that I have from 2021. I did not get the second release from this year because it still had the incorrect main landing gear orientation. So my thinking is that got made in the same batch and they just slapped a different registration on it. And now we move into our mainline aircraft. So we've got the A319 from Gemini, the 2023 release. And then of course, right next to that, I've got the 320 Gemini. Now I'm getting rid of my Aero Classics one, so that's why you don't see them here. So my actual Delta Collection count that you'll see here is a little lower. And then next to that, we've got an A220-100. This is the first release from Gemini, which does have a fantasy registration of November 101 Delta November. 101 Delta Uniform was the first one, I believe and also being held up by a uh, catering truck because the table is not exactly level, so some planes are tail heavy and they like to tilt. Then we got my lovely 717-200. This is the 2018 release that I have. I saw that Gemini did one recently. My 737-800 with blended winglets. This is the 2015 release, I think it is. 2015, 2014, somewhere around there. It does have the Delta belly on here, as you can see right there. Um, so I'm thinking this was 2015 because it was around, I think like May of that year, if I remember correctly, that they started putting the Delta Belly on all their aircraft. And then next to that, we've got my NG, the first NG that you'll see here in this video. This is the Sky Team 738 that I got in 2020. And then I have my uh, A220-300 right next to that from Gemini. This is the 20... Gosh, I don't remember. I think this like released in 2022, 2022, early 2023, somewhere around there. And then we'll swing it all the way back to the far side where it is, uh, the paper is kind of coming up there on that one side. But this is the one of the newest Delta aircraft in my collection. This is the Delta 738S from NG, released in 2023. And we've got one of our retired Delta aircraft, one that I haven't featured on my channel that much ever since I got it in from one retro FSD update that it was featured in. This is the DC-950 from Aero Classics. Quite a rarity in my collection. This was released in, I think, 2015, so just like a year after they got rid of them. And then we have its larger brother here, the MD-88, released in 2018 by Gemini. Now this does have the Delta belly underneath it. They did put it on some of the Mad Dogs before they got rid of them. And then we move into some more Airbuses, if I can get the centered there, there we go. This is the A321, the second release from 2017. And then we have another A321 next to that. This is the Delta Thank You livery, released by NG in 2020. And then we have my Gemini 321neo. This one is also ironically missing a left nose gear wheel, just like my Team USA. So 
yeah, those wheels, they just come off easily these days. And then we have a 737-900ER. This is from Gemini, the 2019 release, November 8, 9, or 6, Delta November. And I got a couple larger Delta aircraft here. Before we move into my retro Delta aircraft, we've got the 757-200, registered November 551 November Whiskey. This is released in 2018. And then we have the 2021 release, 757-300, and that re registration is 586. So that should be correct on that. That's all the current livery Delta aircrafts, and I will take a look at my retro Delta aircraft. These are all the main line and some Delta Connection ones, of course. This is an aircraft I featured in a handful of retro FSD updates to date. This is the Delta Connection Comair CRJ100 with the Ron Allen livery. This one I featured on a more recent installment of Retro Reviews, the ATR-72-200 from Gemini. This is operated by ASA, Atlantic Southeast Airlines, for those that don't know. And then one of my favorite Delta widget aircraft in my collection, this is the 737-200, released by Gemini in the early 2000s. This one I have not taken a look at in my Retro Reviews series, so let me know if you want to see me do an episode on this model. This is my DC-6 with the 1950s livery. It is missing a couple of propellers. I've had this model for quite some time. Not this one, but the DC-6. This is my MD-88 that I got from Connor. Again, thank you so much for this model. Truly appreciate it. And then oh, another recent Delta acquisition. This is the MD-90 with the widget livery that I got off of a Waffle Collection sale for a pretty good deal, I would say. And then another widget right next to that, a 2024 release, 757-200. Awesome aircraft, would highly recommend it, and hopefully you can still get it by the time this video comes out because it is becoming very hard to find. I know the 1-200 to 200 scale has sold out from Gemini in several places. And we have another 752. This is in the Delta Flot livery from NG. This is my first Delta Flot aircraft. And then we have the Spirit of Delta 767 from Aero Classics. This is the Farnborough 82 livery because of the 767 titles on the tail. It wore that livery when it went to that year's air show. And then from Gemini, we've got the 763 with the widget livery. This was released back in 2004. And then now, moving to some of our other wide bodies that we have. These are ones that didn't fit. This is my Ron Allen 763, also from Gemini, released in 03. And then we have another 763. This is with winglets and is from about 2018, I want to say. And it does have some paint blobs there. That's just how it came. And then we have another Ron Allen aircraft next to that. This is the 764, released by Gemini in 2023. And then we have my Gemini 2014 A330-200, a nice wide-body addition. And then a pair of Dragon Wings 777s next to that. We've got the Ron Allen one and my Delta Flight aircraft. Um, the Ron Allen had a bit of an Aki dent when I got it, so uh, yeah, we don't talk about that. And then we have another 777. This one is in the current livery. So I do have all three liveries for the Delta 777, which is pretty cool. And they're all in the, the ER type. I don't have an LR, so maybe I should get that since they used to have them. Um, so this is the 2015, I think this is, from Gemini. And then we have an NG Delta A330-300. And then my Delta A330-900neo. This is the regular livery released in 2023. And then there is Team USA just kind of hiding over there. Again, missing that nose wheel. It fell off when I got it. I don't know what happened with that. And then we have an A350-900 back there. This is the first release that they did back in 2017, shortly before that aircraft began to fly. And then we've got the retired 747-400 from Northwest. And that's all of my Delta aircraft. Bit of a different format than what I've done in the past for the My Collection series. Um, been meaning to bring that series back as well, but just um, just haven't really had the motivation to do so. So hopefully this will be sort of the, the kick into gear that, that I will need for the series to come back. We do have retro reviews going, which is pretty good, um, but this My Collection, I think I'll try to make this some like bi-monthly series or something in the future, just so you guys can see certain chunks of my collection in a little more detail than if I were to just show them in an airport update or even in the full collection videos, which I should have coming out here pretty soon. And I'll do it for this video. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.